On November 4th, Bamsey participated in an emergency deployment readiness exercise to test the staff's ability to receive and provide care to wartime victims. Operation and readiness staff worked with the NDMS Federal Coordinating Center to deploy a patient reception team to Kelly Airfield. 26 simulated patients arrived on a C-17 aircraft where they were triaged by a reception team and the San Antonio Fire Department. The simulated patients were then transported to the Bamsey ER by helicopter and ambulances. They were then processed by the patient administration personnel and evaluated. So this exercise was in conjunction with the City of San Antonio. We're practicing for our mass casualty response to a pandemic flu incident in the area. You know, we have a very unique mission here with uh, BAMC, being a military treatment facility, having a very good relationship with the region, a trauma level one trauma center, receiving civilian traumas as well as our military, seeing our military population as well. So we had the Army, Air Force, um, we have the ER, we have PAD team, we have doctors, nurses, we all just got to work together. You could be a nurse as a runner, you know, so you just got to step up to the plate. Whatever you're being called to do, you have to just roll with it to help the patients. UT Health has their own fellowship as well in the EMS and disaster medicine. It's not necessarily a joint program, but we work together. And in the civilian aspect of the EMS fellowship, we are actually working with the Office of Medical Direction for the city of San Antonio. This type of training prepares us for real world events that could happen, um, just so that we know what to do. Our airmen and our soldiers know how to be prepared to help these patients to ensure that it goes smoothly. You know, these exercises are designed to work the process really more than anything else. How is the process working? Are we able to see this many patients, process them appropriately, get them the treatment that they need? Trauma has the biggest impact because it's, you know, it's easy to see, it's also wartime. But a large majority of them are just sick with the common stuff, colds, flus, appendicitis. And so this stresses our ability to work like that as military physicians. Dealing with patient administration, processing of the patients, etc., cetera, uh, getting them admitted, uh, it seemed like things were working pretty well. We were able to exercise our ability to surge into a, a novel mass casualty. I think this is the first time a a non-trauma kind of mass casualty has happened. Like I said, we're the initial contact and I have faith in our medical team that they're treating the patients and keeping track of the patients, making sure they're going, when they're getting transferred from minimal to delayed, that they're keeping track of them. So I have faith, we prepare for this, you know, in the weeks coming. So I have faith that it went pretty well.